G'day, Tuzia. Welcome back to number four of this uh, week following me around. Trying to give you some idea what can happen to me in a week. So you see the last little bit. Sit back and relax. We'll check the map and get onto the road. Today we start north of Springshaw somewhere and make our way south down to Roma. We're at Roma, I do a left hand turn, have a stop, have a break, have a quick word to you and we'll hit the road again. Make our way past Toowoomba, I broke up my trailers there, made my way down to uh, Brisbane all the way into Pinkabara, uh, Grain Ag, where I unloaded. And from there, made my way back up to Toowoomba, uh, to the breakdown pads at Charlton. Where again, I have a quick word to you. I had another road train follow me, caught up to me uh, some time back. So I decided to just uh, pull over, let him go past. Uh, it's the safest and easy spot. We've got to do a left hand turn just up here anyway, so we've got to slow down. So me pulling up for 30 seconds, followed by another little rigid truck. But you know, let him pass. He's going to power on and leave me in the dust. So i am just doing the, trying to do the right thing by other people. Some of this has got to be my most favourite part of Queensland. It's so beautiful with the hills and the mountains and the cliff faces and yeah, I, and especially while it's green, um, I just wish I could pull over and explore um, or come up here in my own free time just to explore. I would spend weeks and weeks just yeah driving around having a look. I did try to catch it some of it with the camera, GoPro. Unfortunately I didn't have it set up on a high enough resolution. Uh, otherwise it just burns up a lot of memory if I um, have it turned up too much. But yeah, you gotta go up there. Um, if you like bushwalking and camping and stuff, uh, definitely I recommend come up to this area. There is a few little spots. Uh, yeah, we just back down into the bottom box just to climb all these jump ups uh, there is a few of them there but you know it gives you more time to appreciate the scenery oh. 
I'm back at Roma. Um, yeah, got up about six o'clock this morning. Got, oh, well, got on the road at six o'clock this morning. Good easy run, uh, considering. Uh, yeah, make a good time. We'll um, get down to Chanton about, or oh, back to Toowoomba in about uh, somewhere between three or four hours. So it's going to be a, an easy cruise. Yeah, plenty of time on my logbook. Break trailers up tomorrow morning. Meet up with the other driver and and we'll run them down to Rainag tomorrow. That's going to be another headache, but that's um, it is what it is. So just got to deal with it sometimes. Uh, besides that, yeah, um, I would take more footage of what's happening around, but my SIM card in my GoPro is nearly full, so and I haven't got a spare one. I've got no way of transferring it. So, we'll see what we can get. Anyway, it's probably, I don't mind this run up here. It's probably the best, some of the best scenery in Queensland, I reckon. Uh, this run and heading up around that area, I quite, quite enjoy it every time I come up and through. It never seems to get boring for me. Um, the only thing is, I would love to stop and explore, so run around on a bike and camp out everywhere but unfortunately just can't always do what you want to do so you know, enjoy the little bits of what I get to see so yeah all right we'll get on the road and we'll see what else we come across I didn't get any footage from Roma back to Brisbane but we've got plenty of it other times this is Rain Egg uh, Depot it's a temporary depot down at uh, Pinkavar, Brisbane. Now, you can see when I was driving up on that way bridge, it didn't have any side rails. So you had to drive straight on the bridge, not uh, go left or right too far, otherwise you fall off. It was about over a foot high, so if you came off, it was going to be one hell of a ride. You can see a truck in front of me there, um, in front of a pole. We're actually tipping onto a uh, old canvas tarp of some description. They use them to put underneath and over top in bunkers, so we're tipping onto a bunker. Instead of using a normal um, auger to fill up, a, oh, make a big pile and just slowly move along, what we do is tip it on the tarp and we've got the loader there with a very long arm, I suppose you could say, and they push it up into the heap. See one uh, truck in front of me, he's got actually an A trailer on. Uh, he's already unloaded his dog trailer or B trailer. So you can also see he's um, slid his wheels back just then. So he's like a normal semi trailer now. If you want a better view, just uh, rewind that little bit and you can see the axles were out. When he backed up, she will slid back, back underneath itself. A lot of the A trailers can do that. Not all the A trailers can do that. That semi in front of us is actually my dog trailer. Right, at this point of time, I've tipped off into the pole, closed the tailgate. Now I'm out and going around the block and go back to the way bridge again. Now this bridge is a um, well, where they can weigh it and, and take a sample as well. So the first time I went over the bridge they weighed me for my gross and took a sample, checked my paperwork, make sure I'm at the right spot and this time they um, tear me off and hand me the rest of the paperwork. 
Now my work colleague wasn't too far behind me, he was basically following me in and following me around. Um, now I'm just pulling out to the road, uh, I park up, wait for him to come out because he didn't know his way down here and way out, so I lead him back out, out and back up to the uh, breakdown pads. Summary for the week, <clears throat> did a little bit of feed work, feedlot work at the start, um, the reason I didn't take any feedlot uh, footage or very little, just mainly of the gate coming in, um, is it's a headache I don't need, um, for starters I don't really want cameras in there which I can appreciate and if I do take something um, they, they will get upset about it. Not because they uh, count as in poor condition. Um, there is real science going into feedlots. Uh, they are well looked after. Uh, there is vets and they do have their little hospitals if they come across a sick cow. Um, but feedlots are a major Boyer for us, so um, no use upsetting the um, hand of feed you. Uh, I wish I could take cameras in there and show you how well they are set and looked after and feed lots are maintained. Um, it is quite surprising, um, even though I come from a farming background. But it's their wish, their feed lots, their wish, and I'll uh, respect their wishes. I've never asked, but I know what the answer will be. Uh, right, yeah, after that went up to um, Fairmount, I haven't been up there for about five years. I'm very surprised how well that country looks up there, um, with very little rain this year, uh, compared to the last couple. Um, it's very nice, very green, and I wish I could have stayed up there and did some camping or something up there, it would have been great, but fortunately not. Uh, so... Yeah, we'll just have to move on on that one. Um, it is my favourite part of the area of Queensland. I do enjoy going through that part um, for that reason. And I would love to go up there on a bike and drone and take some footage. It would be fantastic. But let's we move on. Um, yeah, uh, I brought it all the way down here last night. I went home last night, got up at four o'clock this morning, um, got back to the breakdown pads here, uh, roughly around five, um, got a little bit beforehand, and I had two choices of getting this combination down to Brisbane. Now, it is a road train, but, um, well, that's the problem. You will see something like this like down there. Um, and they call it A-doubles. But this one with the dolly, I've got the wrong dolly. She's a swing-loaded dolly. Um, it cannot be on an A-double. Uh, it needs to be airbagged. We've got one coming. Um, and it needs to be PVS. Um, rated and it needs EBS on it, so it's electric braking system. Which, if you look, yeah, it's got the extra cord, so that's the EBS cord, which uh, electric over electric braking system anyway. It's not fully electric, it's, um, it's got sensors and lots of lovely stuff. I don't understand how it works. Um, so, yeah, we need. Upgrade the dolly, then we need to get permits after that. So, um, so my two choices was run the trailers down by themselves, 
uh, run the first one down, come back, pick up the second one, run that one down. Therefore, I would have still been going late tonight or find a friend and he took a trailer down. So we both met up here half past five this morning, dragged the trailers down, got unloaded <coughs> this morning and come back up and I've just been doing my jobs ever since. So, yes. Um, yeah, so this is... I'll um, drop this set of trailers here today and take the truck home tonight. Oh, I will, in, in a little bit. So, with all that said and done, I hope everyone has a great weekend or whatever you're doing. So please, take good care of each other. Be safe on the roads and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace, bye.